MIUOS is a great custom firmware option for all of the new H700 RG35XX handhelds, and it can be made even better with themes. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about themes. I'm going to show you how to bring over new themes to your MIUOS handheld, or MUOS, or MUOS. I'm still not exactly sure how to say it. I've heard different people say it different ways, so please bear with me if I'm saying it wrong. I'm also going to showcase some of my favorite themes, and I'm also going to show how just in one step with one file, you can bring over almost every single theme from MUOS. OS that's ever been made. So it's super easy if you're interested in that. So first off, we actually need MuOS. So I'm just going to give a quick introduction on the installation of MuOS. So if you already have MuOS, you can skip right past this chapter in the video to the portion where I'm going to be talking more about the themes. So I want to specify one more time, this is not for the original RG35XX, which came out last year. This is for all the H700 RG35XX handhelds. So just to future proof this video, look up your compatibility of your handheld first, just to make sure you don't have any issues. But Right now, it's compatible with a new H700 RG35XX series. So the installation process is pretty easy. You need a micro SD card. I'd recommend getting a branded one to avoid any failures or anything like that. And you're going to need a micro SD card reader as well. So then head down to the MUOS website and download the latest version. And then once you get that, you need to extract it and you'll see the disk image file. And then you can use a program like Rufus, which I'm using here, to flash that disk image file to your micro SD card. So make sure you have the right drive selected. Again, your micro SD card your micro SD card reader, it's going to get rid of all the files that are on whatever you selected. So make sure you don't have your hard drive or SSD or some other flash drive selected that you don't want to lose all the files to. It should give you some warnings in Rufus, but I just want to make that clear so I'm not responsible for anyone losing any data. Select the MuOS disk image file and then start it up. So once you're finished, you can now eject your micro SD card and put it into your handheld. And then you need to give a small amount of information, just selecting which handheld you have, date, time, stuff like that, and then press B to save. And then it's going to need to take some time to set everything up. So now that everything is done, you can see that we're in MUOS. And then you need to do things like bring over your ROMs, BIOS files, but I'll leave that up to you. And there's other tutorials that talk about that more than I want to do here. So now let's finally get into the themes. So first you need to go to configuration and your theme picker. And here you can see all the themes that come pre installed with MUOS. Maybe in the future this will change or something, but right now these are all the ones that come with it. And you just need to select one, press A, it'll take a few seconds to apply and then everything will be good and you're in your new theme. So let's now get a new theme from online that didn't come pre-installed with MUOS. So there's this new one that I want to try out called Kanto Starters. And it actually has a few different animations of these different Pokemon. I'm going to have this theme linked down in the description as well as a few others and the way to install pretty much all of them at the same time, which I'll talk about more in a few minutes. But this one is on Patreon. So you need to download your relevant version there and then take the micro SD card out of your handheld Put it into your micro SD card reader put that into your PC and then move the zip file that you just downloaded Into the archive folder in your MUOS micro SD card now just eject your micro SD card put it back into your handheld Powering on your handheld go into apps and then go into archive manager and find the theme that you just downloaded and select it And press a to extract and it should just take a few seconds And then when you're done you can go back into your configuration theme picker and as you can see right there there the theme is now in there and you can easily select it right now and it's working so I really love this theme a lot and I think that most themes don't take advantage of any kind of animation so I really really love this it's super unique and especially on the RG35 XX SP because for me as a kid I love playing Pokemon on the Game Boy Advance SP so it's a little more nostalgic to see these Pokemon here on the RG35 XX SP but I'm sure it looked really great on the RG35 XX plus or H as well so if you have those handhelds again all this will work it's not just for the SP. for all these handhelds and maybe if there's even more expanded support in the future I'd imagine that for other handhelds outside of the series that it would be the same process but I won't speak to that at all right now because it's just hypothetical so now like I said earlier I'm going to show you how to bring over a very large amount I'm not going to say all because I'm sure there's some that are not included actually the one we just installed is not included at least yet I'm sure as time goes on it'll be updated and hopefully it will be like I said you can search other places like the MUS discord for newer themes but on this github page which I'll link down below in the description has a ton of themes you can scroll through all of them find one that you think looks nice and download it there the files are relatively small so you don't have too much to worry about when it comes to bringing over too many themes so from here you can find some that you like and just selectively install them or up top we have a large file which actually contains all of them as it's described up here and that's what we're going to be doing now to bring all of them over in one step so first what you need to do is just download that file and then once again bring over your muos micro sd card open up the archive folder and bring that zip file into your archive folder again you could just download it directly into the 
the folder if you want. And that's all you have to do on your PC. Eject your micro SD card, put it back into your handheld, turn it on. Once again, we're opening up apps, going into archive manager, and you can see right here, it says complete theme archive. Maybe in the future they'll change the name, but whatever the new file you just brought over, you should see it there and then press A to extract. And it should take a few minutes to do because there is quite a few themes on here. So once that very, very long process is over, everything should be good. You can now go back into your configuration, theme picker, and you can see right here, all the themes are in there and there is quite a few. So now that you have all of these, you can have fun picking whichever ones you want. And there's a lot of them on here that I find really, really well made. It's really a great thing that people step up and make these handhelds what they are today, really just because it's their hobby, because they enjoy it. They like helping people. It's a really great community here. So I want to say thank you to everyone who's made these themes. And if you can support the people who are making them, go ahead and do so. Some of them might have Patreons or stuff like that. And I also wanted to give one note. There may be some differences between some themes. You may be looking at one theme that might want to instruct you to bring the zip file directly into the themes folder on your micro SD card instead of bringing it into the archive. Generally, bringing it into the archive is the recommended way to do it. So that's how I'm going to show you how to do it in this tutorial. And some themes may have different instructions. For example, the theme that I just installed here, Mustard Dex, does give the option, if you want to, to bring over different color logos for the consoles that might look better with the theme. So if you want to bring those over, you can. Every theme is going to be different. Some might provide graphics like this that match the theme, others don't. And from what I understand with this theme here, the folders that it directs you to move the new color logos to is actually not present on the current version of MuOS. So you just have to look at that directory and find the folders that don't exist and just create folders named that and then bring the logos over if you want. Others might also direct you to do things like download a preview image to show up in your theme picker. Again, all this is completely optional and if that's the case, just move it into the previews folder in your themes folder on your micro SD card. So some themes may have some special instructions, but unless instructed otherwise, just go for the process that I already mentioned earlier. And if it was up to me, I wouldn't worry about any of this too much and probably would just be fine with a theme as is. But if you worry about that stuff, keep all that in mind. There may be some different instructions for different themes, but generally you're just good bringing it into the archive, extracting it, and you're done. So I have all the links for all these down in the description. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite theme from UOS is and what your dream theme would be. Something you think would be really cool that you would always want because I just feel like there's so many creative options out here. Like there's a DS theme on here, which I really love and really is nostalgic for me. I actually might end up using that one a big chunk of time. I feel like it's more than a novelty and it actually is pretty cool looking. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.